have to make white children feel bad about being white in order to overcome the fact that black children uh, were How does that happen? Uh, I come out of an academic uh, institution, and uh, this is a, something that academics debate, what is the role of race and so forth. And, and let me be very clear. I grew up in segregated Birmingham, Alabama. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't go to a movie theater or to a restaurant with my parents. I went to segregated schools till we moved to Denver. Mm -hmm. My parents never thought I was going to grow up in a world without prejudice, but they also told me that's somebody else's problem, not yours. You're going to overcome it, and you are going to be anything you want to be. And that's the message that I think we ought to be sending to kids. One of the worries that I have about the way that we're, we're talking about race is that it either seems so big that somehow white people now have to feel guilty for everything that happened in the past. I, I mm -hmm. don't think that's very productive. Or black people have to feel disempowered by mm -hmm. race. I would like black kids to be completely empowered, to know that they are beautiful in their blackness, mm -hmm. but in order to do that, I don't have to make white kids feel bad for being white. So somehow this is a conversation that has gone in the wrong direction.